developing adaptation and mitigation activities to address climate change is challenging for developing nations, yet is critical to the survival of the Caribbean region. One of the biggest hurdles in the quest to combat climate change is financing. The effects of climate change are increasing. They are becoming more intense and they're becoming more frequent. And so this is why centers like the five C's become so important in helping the countries to prepare proposals uh, that we can then access finance for climate resilience from a number of partners, including bilateral partners, as well as entities like the GCF and the Adaptation Fund and the Global Environmental Facility that are all set up as financial mechanisms under the convention. The Green Climate Fund is a critical element of the historic Paris Agreement established in 2015. Today, the GCF is the world's largest climate fund mandated to support developing countries achieve low emission and climate resilient pathways. The fund, which has committed 10.2 billion U.S. dollars globally, works directly with countries through a national designated authority to deliver climate solutions through mitigation and adaptation investments. So the GCF provides support not just for funding projects, but also to help countries to become what we call ready. We work through our nationally designated authorities, the NDAs, to ensure that we can provide the support that's required to build capacities and also strengthen institutions. Um, by, by virtue of being able to do this, we are hoping to be able to help them to put the necessary policies, um, you know, plans, strategies in place that can ensure that we have a climate resilient population as well as institutions to tackle climate change into the future. On July 9, 2015, the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center became the first institution in the Caribbean to be accredited by the Green Climate Fund as a regional implementing entity. As an accredited entity, the center can access up to 50 million U.S. dollars in grant funding and works alongside government and private sector agencies within CARICOM to develop projects and submit funding proposals through various modalities to the Green Climate Fund for approval. These modalities include the Readiness and Preparatory Support Program, the Project Preparation Facility, the Funding Proposals, the Simplified Approval Process, and finally, the Enhanced Direct Access. Identifying alternative energy sources is a priority for the region as it builds climate resilience. Through the project preparation facility, GCF financing was provided for a feasibility study that would enable Belize to develop and implement a biomass energy project using wild cane as a renewable energy source. The study's goal was to determine whether wild cane could be cultivated on a commercial scale, used as a biomass fuel and provide opportunities for the participation of vulnerable citizens. A successful outcome could help to reduce Belize's carbon footprint, create a new industry, and assist in creating resilience to climate change impacts in developing nations. In 2019, the Water Sector Resilience Nexus for Sustainability in Barbados was the first GCF-funded Caribbean project to move to implementation. This 45.2 million U.S. dollar project aims to improve climate resilience to extreme weather events and reduce the carbon footprint of the Barbados Water Authority through investments in solar-powered facilities and micro-gas turbines. It also focuses on reducing water supply disruptions, building resilience to climate change impacts on water security, and conducting training programs to raise public awareness. The energy, agriculture, and health sectors are also anticipated to be positively impacted by this project. To further increase access to GCF funds for CARICOM member states, the center created a project development and management unit task with assisting countries in developing and implementing projects that meet GCF requirements. Since uh, the 5 C's accreditation to the GCF in 2015, the 5 C's has mobilized US $20 million in readiness and proprietary support uh, to support 12 member states of uh, CARICOM. We've also had one project approved to the GCF um, 
valued at $45 million. The GCF has endorsed this entity work program, which is valued at US $300 million, uh, supporting uh, seven CARICOM member states uh, in climate action. These are both adaptation projects and mitigation projects. Building resilience, securing our future.